I'm here with Fiona Wild at the Columbia Gorge Paddle Challenge. Just got done with the second half of the Double Down Winter. Now you just came off a big kite surfing race, windsurfing race. How did it feel coming back home to do the Columbia Gorge Paddle Challenge? It was really cool. I was in Northern Baja for a windsurf wave sailing contest um, earlier this week. And, you know, I took my first win there, which is really cool. I've been working on that while. And, um, you know, I love stand-up paddling and windsurfing equally. And just any time on the water for me, that's, that's my optimum goal. It's just to be out there and to come home and see the top athletes in my sport here in my hometown is more than words can describe. Like, it's an honor to be here. What's it like seeing this event change from year to year? What's it like now compared to what it used to be? Well, the first year, I mean, personal level, you know, I just did the open race and um, did well in that. And my progression's been pretty cool because um, last year, uh, or first year I won the open, then I did the elite, did terrible in the elite, and then the third year I actually won the elite. And this year this I'm somewhere up there for that as well. So. And then just to see every year the numbers so progress is something really special. Now we are and yesterday you said you kind of wish there was more wind for that flat water challenge. Do you feel like you would have had more of an advantage if you had that wind to fight against? You know, there's nothing that I want to say like, oh, I wish it could have been this because I could have done this because you never know that. So but personally, I prefer to have wind and waves to make it a more James technical Stasio. technical race. You know, it's and I like it when it's technical and it's challenging and it's not just a flat water grind, but it is what it is and you have to be ready and come race morning. What was the break like between the downwinders? Was that mentally challenging? Um, I kind of just tuned it out. My mom was here and she just drove me back up to the top and yeah, I just, you know, I ate some food and kind of got ready. Try not to think about it too much, but I felt pretty good at the beginning of the second one, so that was nice. And what do you have coming up next? What are you preparing for? Next, I'm getting ready for a stand-up world tour event at Huntington Beach. So I'll be both surfing and racing down there, and then Battle of the Paddle, and then over to Maui for a windsurf contest. Well, it was fun watching your race, and it's so fun having this crowd here for you. And thanks for chatting with us. Thank you very much. Thanks.